So today I'm talking about a P0, 751 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0, 751 code? Well, it's a shift solenoid A performance stuck off. And what does this mean? Well, basically, there's a lot of solenoids built into a transmission. And one of these solenoids is called shift solenoid A. And for some reason, it's having an issue. It's not working the way it's supposed to be working. And the computer's seeing this, and so it's sending out this P0751 code. And it's going to need to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to note about this P0751 code is it can be kind of hard to troubleshoot and fix sometimes because quite often it requires draining the transmission fluid, dropping the pan, working on small components and different things like this, which can be kind of hard to do sometimes. So just keep in mind that fixing this code can be kind of hard to do sometimes. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0751 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty transmission fluid. If your transmission fluid is low, then that's going to cause issues. If you can't go and check it, be sure it's at the correct level. If it's low, add some in because low transmission fluid can cause all kinds of problems. Some newer vehicles no longer allow you to check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can go and check it, be sure it's at the correct level because low transmission fluid can cause problems. Dirty transmission fluid can also cause this problem. There's also a transmission filter that if it gets all clogged up, then that's going to cause issues. But the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty transmission fluid. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad shift solenoid A or the wiring going to that shift solenoid A. That shift solenoid A might have just failed and might just need to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing those solenoids. A very common method is use a multimeter and check them for resistance or ohms and be sure they fall inside the correct range of where they're supposed to be. For example, say this shift solenoid was supposed to be at 11 ohms, but it's coming in too low at like 10.7. Then you know it's bad and it needs to be replaced. If you have a good scan tool, there's also some other ways you go about testing those shift solenoids. And also keep in mind that the wiring going to the shift solenoid A, if there's any kind of issue there, like an open, a short, a bad connection, something like that, then that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad solenoid. So be sure to keep that in mind. And the next thing that could cause this is that the transmission is having some kind of issue that's stopping that shift solenoid A from working. And so this would be something like a bad pump, a bad valve body. There's like a passage blocked or something that's blocking the flow of fluid or something along these lines. And so basically there might not be no problem with that solenoid, but there's something else stopping it from working. So the next thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of transmission issue. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And this is going to be like a bad transmission control module or a bad powertrain control module or something like that. And this isn't too common. It's fairly rare for one of these computers to fail, but it does happen sometimes. If you do think you have a bad computer, be sure to check and see that the battery is good, that the alternator is charging correctly, and that the computer module has a good ground. Because all these computer modules, they all need a good stable power supply or that can cause issues. And very often when there is a computer issue, there's some kind of issue with the power supply. But like I said, they can fail sometimes. It is rare. Usually when you get a P0751 code, it's going to be something else. But it is possible that there is a computer issue. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0751 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.